Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to all my students out there. Grade 8 students, I welcome you once again for another learning session, learning experience here in my YouTube channel and this time we'll be dealing with Punnett Square. Itong Punnett Square na ito shows all possible gene combination in a cross of parents. So once mag-cross na po tayo, it could be for the um, first generation or the after generation or second generation. Gagamitin din yung Punnett Square or mga boxes. So, yeah, it's a combination ng class. Parang multiplication lang po yan. The monohybrid cross, as, as I mentioned a while ago, it's a cross between two individuals for one trait. Okay. For example, for one trait, pinag-cross mo class, both uh, parehong tall. That's monohybrid cross. Parehong tall. Okay. Ang dihybrid cross naman, crossing two different characteristics at the same time. So, may mga short, may mga round, may mga so... It cannot be like same characteristics lang. Okay? So, iba-iba ang pinag-cross mo class. Kaya, uh, we'll be expecting that pag maraming pinag-cross, marami ding possible offspring na lalabas in different form. Okay, so let's proceed. Sir, bakit? Sir, bakit ang, ang ginamit short is T? Pwede bang S? Okay, class, remember that it's a pair. Okay? So, datadaan natin sa ating um, P, um, characters, uh, di ba magsabi ting, when we are talking about height, so, ang dahil walang ating two contrasting characters. So, we have tall and short. Sir, bakit pwede bang yes na lang yung isa? No class. Kasi, kailangan pareho lang sila sa alil. So, para sa pag mag, mag cross tayo, hindi tayo malito mamaya. So, uh, ginagamit ng mga description. So, kaya ito may tall for T and then S is for ano, T representing for the short. So, ayan. Para hindi lang kayo. Kasi kailangan pare-pareho ang ating traits mamaya. Na magkailang ma masama-sama when we are going to do the dihybrid cross. Or even the monohybrid cross. Alright. So, heterozygous. I am done with that already. So, let's proceed. So, we have here example. T or capital T and the other one. T and small t. It is the genotype. For the tall trait, um, it is the genotype for the short trait. Sir, um, ibig bang sabihin, since ang capital T ay um, representing tall, pag once maluan siya ng isang alil na short T, ang interpretation yan, ang kanang phenotypic yan, or phenotype is maging tall exactly. Okay? Kasi nahaluan siya dominant and then recessive trait. So, mga ibaba pa rin kasi mapatalo niya. Okay, what if both small letters T, ayun ay recessive trait na. Kaya that is short ang pag -um Short ang ating interpretation. Okay, I hope na hindi ka malito sa pag ng mga bagay. Okay? Alright, so same. In the phenotypic ratio class, mayroon tayong tawag to the short trait is determined by the genotypic. Uh, okay? Both are smaller T. We have P stands for the parental generation or the F1. F1 or the first filial generation. We have also F2 or the second filial generation. All right, let's continue. So in our um, uh, uh, first part of the video, we are dealing with the characteristics. So ito na po yung pinapakita natin ng mga characteristics ng pea plant. So we have per seed. So we have from cotyledons, form and cotyledons, and flower color, the pod from form and color, the stem, position of influences and sizes. So, yan class, it could be wrinkled, it could be green, violet, red, something like that. And then, those are the characteristics na ginamit ni Mendel para sa kanyang experiment, crossing yung two um, contrasting characters. So, pinagsama lang niya. For example, dalawang seed, yellow and um, green. Pinagsama niya class. Pinagcross niya yun monohybrid. So, nakita nila ano ba ang lalabas na color pagpagsamahin ang purple at ang yellow, uh, purple and white. Ganun. Or the green and the green seed and the yellow seed. So, ano ba ang dominant na lalabas? Yeah. Next. Okay. Again, I am showing to you class the seven um, characteristics of pea plant. Okay, with each um, corresponding, um, you know, uh, trait. So, dominant trait and recessive trait. So, nakita pag-dominant, no? Dominant purple, 
tall, yellow, round, green, in inflated eggshell. So, pag recessive trait naman sa baba, white, short, green, wrinkled, yellow, constricted. Yung constricted parang may groove glass. Nakita natin na parang may parang may mga groove yun sa kind of shape. Hindi siya perfect. And then terminal. Alright, so now let's proceed to the Punnett Square. Okay, the Punnett Square, uh, it named after Reynold Punnett, a British geneticist. A Punnett Square is the device used to show the combination of gametes. Remember, class, the gametes in the biology is referring to the sex cells, right? So the possible gametes of one individual of the square uh, are listed along the horizontal side of the square while the possible gametes of the other individual are listed in the vertical side. So the genotypes of the potential offspring are represented by the cells within the square. So ayan, yung other side, okay, kaya lagay din dalawang gametes yan, both sides. So, um, kaya makita din naman sa ating panel square na may nakalagay, may nakalagay na alil sa gilid and then the other one, ipag-cross natin. At yung mga result ng cross, like just like multiplication, right? So yun ang tatawag na mga offspring. Yan. So, yung mga result ng ating pag-cross. Right? So, again, kaya siya pinangalan ng Punnett Square kasi galing yan ang pangalan ng tao. From Reynold Punnett, British geneticist. I hope that it's clear to you. Alright, moving on. So, Mendel conducted his experiment on the pea flower color in the following manner. So, una man ang kinuha ni Mendel yung pea flower color. So, so ang color flower natin is made on purple and white. So first, production of the true pure breeding strains of the pea plants, yun ang una niya. And then for the second class, pinag-cross niya yung two different varieties of true pure breeding strains, yung dihybrid na. And then the third, ay the crossing of the F1 generations. Let's move on. So, the Punnett square. So, ito yung structure na ginawa ni Mendel. So, for, for the first P or the parent generation, true breeding parent. So, wala mo nang halo. Yellow seeds, crossed with green seeds. So, pag pinag-cross pala siya class, okay, ang maging resulta niyan ay maging lahat ng kanyang mga result niya na seed ay yellow. Yellow. All plants had a yellow seed. So, now, pag itong yellow naman, pinag-cross naman itong yellow, lahat-lahat ng yellow pinag-cross, or self-cross-pollination, ang lalabas naman, it could be may portion, may three-fourth na yellow, and then, uh, one fourth lang yung green. Ayan. So, so, kita natin na dominant pa rin ang yellow color. But, nakita natin sa second generation, lumalabas na naman ulit yung green. Nawala sa first generation, but pinag-cross natin yung same trait natin or same allele, something like that. Pinag-cross natin and all plants sa the yellow seeds, may lumabas pa rin green. So, bumalik siya class. ba? So, ayan. So, malamang, for example, kung kayo, um, hindi nyo nahanap sa parent na, bakit si mama, wala naman, hindi naman curly, hindi naman siya kulot or something like that. Bakit? Ano ba? Saan ba? Tingnan niyo sa inyo mga lola, baka nandoon yung mga characteristics or traits na nakikita niyo sa sarili niyo. Kaya minsan pag magandang bosses hindi naman magandang boss ng mama at ko, papa ko. Yun pala yung mga, ano, yung mga lola mo or something gana na mayroon pa ng katangian na magandang bosses Ayan. So, here is a color na pinag-cross. So, sa pea generation, the true breeding parents. So, kung baga, wala pang halo yan, class. Purple and white flower lang. So, pag purple, pinaghalo sa so white flower, ang result. Alright, so, balik tayo sa Punnett Square, class. So, we have here one monohybrid cross. So, for the trait, look at the trait, class. Ang, ang trait na, na ang ginamit ay seed shape. Diba? We have seven traits yon. So, for the alleles, we have R. Ang ginamit ng R, it big so in round shape. And then, pag recessive naman, small R. So, in the table, ang pinaka, uh, yung contrasting, yung characteristic niyan, pag sabi recessive, ay wrinkled. So, round and wrinkled. So, if we're going to cross here, two round seeds. Yan. So, ang lalabas in class, makita natin, para yung round seeds, ikakross natin. So, makita natin the genotype. Tatlo, we have R, 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 R capital and R small. Then, we also have three R. So, ibig sabihin yan, those are the genotypic ratio na lumabas sa pan square sa pag-cross. Then, how, what is the role of 
phenotype. Yan naman po ay interpret lang natin kung ano yung mga characteristics na nakikita visually. So, we have round and wrinkled. Okay? So, sir, paano ba nasabing round? Class, pag once ang isang um, alil or something yung pair niyan, uh, mayroong capital or may dominant na isang letter na halo dyan, maapantatalo yung recessive. So, magiging round pa rin siya. Okay? Kahit may small or but, pag puro na lang small um, alil, so, yan po ay recessive trait. So, kaya siya wrinkled. So, ang ratio niyan, okay, um, dalawang R, uh, isang R na capital, dalawa, yun diba? R, R is 1, then dalawang may capital and may small, that's 2, at 1. Kaya sa tinatawag niya, 1 is to 2 is to 1. 1 is to 2 is to 1. Kasi nga, dalawa, ano, kanina, uh, pag bilangin sa box, we have 4, diba? 4, four um, pairs in the box. So, titignan natin, pag walang kapareho, parang titignan natin may mga kapareho ba? So, walang kapareho. So, 1 is to 2 is to 1. But, if we're going to have it a phenotypic, pe, phenotypic ratio class, so 3 is to 1 pa rin yan. Okay? Kaso, lahat, tatlong round at isang wrinkled. Sir, bakit naging round yung isa? Kasi sabi ni Sir kanina, pag yan ay mahat mahaluan ng capital letter, matatalo yun, ma, 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 matatalo yung trait na yun sa magiging round pa rin siya. Kahit, di ba, sabi natin, ang R is round, capital R, ang isa namang R, R small is wrinkled. Pero pag once maluan ng dominant class, mahatatalo yan. So, magiging um, round pa rin. Okay? So, tatlong round at isang wrinkled. So, I hope that you take note for that. Alright? So, we have 25, 50, and 25. So, it yield to 100%. So, andun lahat yung characteristics. Hindi siya natatapon class and for the phenotypic, ito yung pagsabing phenotype kasi class, you have to give the description. And for the dihybrid cross naman class, iba din ang dih dihybrid cross. It's the cross that involves two traits from two organisms. So, dalaw so parang pinagsama-sama mo na yan. So, nakita natin dihybrid cross, medyo complicated din class. And kung titignan natin, yung round, capital Latin round, and yellow, capital and yellow. So, dalawang traits pinagsama. Unlike kanina pag monohybrid, isang katangi alam ng pea plant, di ba? Right? Remember? So, pag seed color, seed color lang. Okay? Pag um, flower color, flower color lang. Sa dihybrid cross class, dalawang traits pinagsama, pinagcombine. Okay? So, so we will expect that we have four contrasting characteristics. So, apat na contrasting char characteristics kaya four times four, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng 16 panic square or 16 boxes okay as as always whatever you have learned from this um discussion all right you just have to comment in the first of the comment section comment below so that i may know if you have grasped something if you have learned something from this discussion okay so i think i have um done everything i have discussed everything and I was able to deliver as far as I know the concept about the Mendelian pattern of inheritance. Well, if you have some questions, you have your science teacher with you. You have Mom Jill, you have Sir Chadi, at lahat yan equally um, uh, brilliant, okay? Talagang, wala ko masabi sa aking mga kasaman for grade 8. Talagang um, very hardworking and talagang in terms of knowledge and concept, I masabi ko na they're also good um that would be all for today and i'm hoping for the next vlog you're still there so that you can get get additional information for your learning so even in a new normal class even we are in this virtual type of delivering the lesson well we are still aiming for quality education so again this is uh, your teacher i am mr mlp gama your science teacher saying bye everyone and see you in my next vlog.